What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to focus in on the uh, San Jose Sharks acquiring the rights to uh, Max Latinov, Latunov, whatever way you want to pronounce it. I see it pronounced both ways, so whatever way, you know, you can correct me and I'll probably not pay attention. Uh, for the second time, he's been traded since he was drafted. Obviously, went to uh, was drafted in the second round by the Blues in 2014, went to the Coyotes in the Zabonic Mahala trade, and then today got traded from the Coyotes to San Jose in exchange for a fourth round pick this year and a third round pick next year. Um, he had a really good year for uh, UK on. I watched him play a little bit. I like his game. You know, he's actually committed to go to BU, and that, I was really excited to have, you know, this big Russian center on campus at Boston University. Um, obviously, that never came to fruition. There was some bullshit with Claren House, or, you know, the NCAA is with that shit. Um, but, again, I, I like his game. I think San Jose got a pretty good player here. Um, and, you know, I think he'll do one more year at UConn and then sign a pro contract. That's just me. That's just my gut feeling. Could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Um, but he's uh, he's a talented kid, and you know I think the Sharks are trying to get as much youth in the organization as possible. And you look what Chike is trying to do, and this is just my perception of the situation in Arizona. He wants to get as many draft picks as possible and put his own stamp on the organization. Uh, Matt Alatunov is not a guy that he acquired. I, he might have been with the organization, might have some say in the matter. He's not, I guess. And again, this is my perception. I view it as. Latunov wasn't one of his guys. That made him a little bit more expendable than someone, than you know, some of the other players um, that he has. And plus, Arizona's got a, a lot of depth at forward in the organization. I mean, Christian Dvorak, ever heard of him? Dylan Strom, ever heard of him? You know, those guys are pretty, pretty, pretty good, to quote the great American philosopher Larry David. Um, and again, I think he's kind of being expendable. They want to stock up on draft picks. They want to make it. You know this team and their image, um, so I guess I, I really can't fault them for it. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it all shakes itself up. I, I hope he signs a pro contract. I want to see what he does at the next level. I think he showed um, really, really he showed a lot of uh, talent, and um, you know he adjusted very well to the collegiate game, which is jump up from playing in the USHL. And I mean the the guy also came halfway across the world to play hockey and get an education, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, that's all I got to episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.